Babu Sevens reporting live from Cleveland right now. We're getting ready to pack up and go, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna make that determination based on what you're gonna tell us. Dabu, tell us what's going on on the ground in Cleveland. First off, how are you guys doing today? Doing great. Welcome back, man. Let's just get right to it. I'm I'm just throwing you right into it because we know, like, and trust what you're doing. And thank God we have you reporting on what's going on in Cleveland because the mainstream media is telling everyone to just not paying attention to Ramadi right now. That's what's going right. on. Well, I uh, I made my rounds around the city when I got in here uh, to check out things. Went down by the pier, uh, got my bearings on the city, so to speak. And as I was driving around the day, I noticed down by City Hall, they started to block off the streets. So I, I shut it off, parked in a parking lot, went down, and rolled right up as they were starting to shut down the streets. And it was the BMA called the Black Man's Army and a bunch of other people out there um, talking that they're going to do this. There's, they're going to do this with, with energy, but they're going to do it peacefully. And a guy actually came out of City Hall, a big wig, um, I had it on the live stream and he came out and he told everybody he supported them um, for standing their calls in the street and for being there. Cops never messed with nobody. They blocked off both ends of the street. They marched back and forth, back and forth. And they said, we're going to stay here until we get this verdict. So, you know, at that point, they let it, they let it be known that uh, they're going to be there every day until they come out and they do this. And the word that I'm kind of getting around here is, People think that uh, they're getting bluffed, so to speak, on what when this verdict is going to be dropped. Uh, uh-huh. Some people suspect tomorrow morning. But right now they're being really tight-lipped about it. I have seen on the social networks that other streamers are starting to show up in town. So uh, that's a sign other people know things as well, and people are getting in a position here to right. um, see what's going to go down. Okay. But it's a waiting game right now. Um, really peaceful, loving people in the streets are down here. They're exercising their rights. And at this point, it's being respected down there. Good. And I haven't seen any provocateur movement yet or anything anything of that nature either. So Good. Good, good, good. And, you know, there, there's this one thing, uh, Dabu, and I'm sure you'll agree with me. Uh, that thank, thank God. Okay, but for instance, I was called an outside agitator in Baltimore. Uh, Thank God there were outsiders like us that got on the ground, reported the truth, and also peacefully, we wanted to protect the the, uh, exercise of of those peaceful people that wanted to come forward and demand justice. What what do you have to say? Uh, Is there word on the ground about these so-called outside agitators? And are the peaceful protesters and and members of the media being called outside agitators, not invited by Cleveland? Um, no one that I spoke to on the streets down there whatsoever uh, had anything to say about anyone coming up from out of town, any gate, anything yeah. like that. There were camera crews set up down there, but what I did notice is that they were all mainstream type rigs, and there was no vans, no mainstream uh, labels, nothing. But you could tell that these people were the mainstream outlets, but they were totally unmarked, so to speak. Okay. All right, so they're all pre-positioning, and you know how that goes because they're normally the first ones to get tipped off. Like in Baltimore, the mainstream right. knows what intersection to be at to get their coverage of, uh, of troublemakers. Uh, the majority of the people there are peaceful, as we saw in Baltimore, right? Is that what you're seeing yep. right now? Yep. Okay. So- Although I have heard word that uh, they're, calling, they're calling them the Sharp tonight. People, people that are following Al Sharpton are saying that they have – got people on buses and brought them up in here uh, in, into Cleveland. Where they're at, I don't know. As um, mm-hmm. soon as I get up the phone with you, I'm grabbing my gear. I'm getting back down in the street. I'm sure this time around when I get back down there, I'm going to see a lot more people. All right. And um, also got word, uh, like I said, other streamers are making their way down here. So right. knowing that, I think other people are getting information that's telling them that something's about to go down down here. Okay. We're approaching that time. All right, now here's the thing, and I will say this. I'm not a fan of Al Sharpton. I'm not a fan of people that follow Al Sharpton. But guess what? If they're out there peacefully protesting, I will lay my life on the line and make sure that they're they're just as protected as anyone else. If they're peaceful, Well, that was the thing when they were mentioned. They were mentioned as being problematic. That when when any time the Sharptonites, that's what they're calling them. Any time that that was brought up, that they were saying that they were keeping an eye out for those groups because that's where the trouble could come from. Okay. All right. We're also under the impression, Dabu, and I don't know if you know about this. We're under the impression 
that there were messages that were being sent out about potential provocateurs that were coming. And in fact, we found out it came from city uh, uh, officials and representatives. It gave them justification for bringing in heavy hands. Do you see the National Guard presence and the heavy uh, uh, police presence that were we saw in Baltimore? They were used to incite the crowd. Uh, but do you see right. that right now? What, what What's the overall atmosphere? Is it insightful or is it just peaceful? No, it's not insightful whatsoever. Uh, be, to be honest with you, it was that it was that uh, moment when I stepped out into the streets. Right then, when they blocked down the road, they sat down. It was right then we were going to be able to see: Are the police going to incite this? Are they going to be? Are they going to respect this? The cops never said a word. They just drove around on their motorcycles. They shut off both ends of the street as we marched down toward one, and they even moved the barrier to let us go through, thinking we were going to continue on down the road. That's great. But they stopped, and they just kept right there in front of City Hall, and um, this kind of went back and forth. But the cops just sitting back, drinking the drinks, chilling. Um, you know, n- n- nothing aggressive, and I haven't seen any military in downtown yet. Um, they are mounted up in Twinsburg, which is about 15, 20 minutes down the road from here. They're at the Army Reserve base there, and they, they are stocked. I mean, wall to wall, it's packed. So they're ready on that front. All they got to do is come up the road 20 minutes and then position in right. whatever lot they pick up here, and right. that's yet to be seen. Okay. All right. Now, listen, also, I want you to keep an eye out for because you and I uh, know what Advon vehicles look like, correct? You've seen those Advon yes. blue vehicles? We need to keep an eye out for those. If anybody that has that information, that would be an indication that the feds have intentions to uh, to shut down our electronic um, uh, means of communication, of course, with the... Uh, right. With the, with the groups uh, of, uh, well, uh, I would say the federal forces that they want to bring into Ohio, this is a different place than Baltimore, isn't it? We're much more constitutional here in Ohio, aren't we? Yeah, it, it's, um, it's definitely a different atmosphere, different breed of people. Mm-hmm. Um, but i tell you one thing, it, it is that mutual thing that I've seen in Baltimore of all the people coming together. I mean, all races, religion, everybody's down here together representing this in peace. And that's where we should keep it. Even uh, big time gang members, and that's football players have Hank Davis down here um, running things. They've got their crews running around the streets, right. just kind of walking down around the corners and things. Okay. And um, everything looks peaceful, you know, so they're kind of keeping their eye out. But as you've seen in Baltimore, as you've seen in Ferguson, there's always the city hall deal, but then they draw it away from the city, just like General MacArthur was talking about, pulling the crowd away from downtown in Baltimore, and they had it all staged up on North Avenue and Penn, away right. from everyone, you see? Right, right, that's, that's right. They're going to try that here. It's yet to be seen, although a guy came up to me earlier and said, We're, they're going to move it into the neighborhoods. They're going to move it down West 25th. So the timing of all this is still in the air, but... They have things planned here as soon as this verdict is dropped. Yeah. Now, listen, I'm going to uh, I'm going to say this. Do you do you uh, and I'm going to go based on what you're what you're feeling. Do you anticipate that the verdict is going to come tomorrow? That's going to be the determining factor as to whether or not we pack up tonight and head out there. I, I know. And I just want to tell you, yes. And then you guys pack up, and come up here and then, no, no. then we'll solve this thing out to the weekend. You no, know, no, 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 no. Don't worry about that. Cause you know, we're, we're not that far away. So no damage done I there. I'm just saying out of here tomorrow sometime anyway, because um, I've got to get back down to the home front by Wednesday. Okay. Things of that nature. But uh, okay. Then you know what? Then let's let's plan. I'll, I'll plan around and I'll talk to you off the air right now, based on what you just right. said. I, I I would say that even if you were to come back, at least we've got somebody on the ground there, you know, with eyes and ears. Uh, we will. This is what we'll do. Um, we're going to broadcast your channel tonight, okay? And we're going to do that. Okay. We're going to cross uh, cross broadcast it out to our YouTube channel. So uh, your YouTube channel right now, where you're broadcasting out, give it out right now to everybody so they can see it direct. Dabu 77. 77. Okay.